Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be working on. Um, with the video, that is. I've been working on my flip-flop journal and it's coming along quite nicely. I, um, I'm not quite ready to share it, but it's, it's getting there. It's quite chunky. Um, what I thought I'd do today is decorate some glassine bags. Um, I've never done this before, got to say. Well, I probably did once, but not very successfully. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. I've got a couple here ready to go and some bits and pieces. I'm going to keep it simple. I've got, um, oops. I've got this album frame piece. I think these are all graphics fairy and um, a book page, a, um, an old book page, this pretty image and what I want to do is get her reasonably centred here and use one of my frames just around there and I will add some of this um, white gold onto the frame, onto the embossed area. I've also got this old book page ruffle that may well go down the bottom of this one. So I'll get started and um, I don't know whether you can hear it, it's absolutely pouring with rain here today, which we needed has to be said, um, but it's, um, I'm hoping it will cool things down. I think at the moment it's pretty humid. So if you can hear a noise, that's what it is, was basically what I was saying. Um, it's Valentine's Day today. I hope, um, I hope you've been spoiled um, and you've had a lovely day so far. Um, this probably will go up, well I'm hoping it will go up tonight, if um, YouTube play along with me. And, um, yeah, okay. So my bags aren't particularly big, I can't, they've been in my, I've got a, one of those little rolling trolleys at the side of me and they've been in there for ages and I don't think I've ever used them. I certainly don't recall using them, so I thought it was about time. Right, let's see if I can get this on straight. Sort of. I've just used glue stick on that. I'm hoping that will be sufficient. But um, I will probably do a bit of stitching on this anyway. Now, what I've got to try and do is centre this up in the frame in such a way as this, actually what I should perhaps do is add the frame to this piece. If I do that, that might make it a bit easier. Hey. We're all for making life easy in this house. How have you been? I'm, um, I'm sort of stuck at the moment. I'm trying to get that flip-flop journal done and I'm not a fast crafter at the best of times. And I'm sort of part ready to move on and I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, I've got a couple of ideas for journals, but um, I don't sell my journals really, and you can only have so many on the shelf. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking at the 100 day challenge is coming up, I might have a play with that. Okay, so that is on. And that's pretty good. All right, so that has to sit on here. 
my lovely lady sitting behind. I want her down far enough. Glue on that finger. I'm thinking something like that. a little bit of glue on the bottom there for now. And double check. Yep. Actually, let's use this. Just around that frame. Be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I knew I'd got this ribbon and I was just thinking it was just wide enough to cover that stitching. So I think I might glue that on. I've stitched around three sides of the bag just to hold that. Um, let's have a look. So we want to trim it off at about here. And lay some glue across the center to do it. down. There we go. And I did think I'd rub some of this. This is where I get in a mess. Just pop that there a minute. There we go, that's one done. Get that off my fingers. What do you think? It's quite pretty. Leave that one there. Now the next one is um, just some pretty digital paper. And this is a piece from um, Antique Papery. I couldn't think of a name there. Sorry about that. I think it's Nagasaki. Um, I was watching uh, one of the girls and she used the same paper and as she said the name, I thought, oh, I've got some of that printed somewhere. So um, that's why that's been used today. Okay. And this is a very simple, just using more pinks. Do a bit of inking. Oops. Jackie Chimes was the girl I was watching. She was making a journal um, from scratch over about five or six 
videos, but it was a um, it was a simple journal uh, cover, just using scrapbook paper with calico on the inside. And again, I've never done that. I've done fabric covers, but I've never actually glued calico to the back of um, scrapbook paper. So I'd quite like to have a go at that. And I'm thinking it's it sort of um, covers um, that I haven't done before that I thought, actually, perhaps that's the idea, just make up a few covers um, and see how that goes. It might inspire me to add the pages. I, I find that a bit hard going sometimes. I've got to be in the mood. Anyway, we'll see. Say the 100 day project's coming up, so I wouldn't mind having a play at that. These are more of the fussy cut flowers I purchased digitally not long ago, and they're, they're really nice. I've printed out some of the smaller ones for some smaller projects. Should do this as well. Um, where's my brush? It's a bit... Let's see if there's a little bit of... Yeah, there is. Just dull that down a bit. That'll do. Just had to look up at my camera and make sure that I was filming. I had a horrible feeling I hadn't turned the camera back on. I did a whole video the other day. I got one section of it and I paused the tape to uh, the video to go and sew and when I came back to do the next section I hadn't turned the video on had I so the project was complete but only the first bit was filmed what a waste of time <laughs> never mind And I use the um, art glitter glue for this one. Just to make sure these little jagged edges are glued down. Shall we use that piece up? Why not? Is that a bit OTT? What do you think? That's us say um, a little fabric cluster. I don't know. <laughs> Going for broke. Oh yes, why not? Let's do it. Um, I might use the fabric glue for this one. This was a piece I made clearing up scrappy bits that were I throw in a box here at the side. And um, every so often, if I'm not feeling very motivated to do anything, I'll get that box out and sort out, make some bits, it looks like a bit of thread, we'll trim that off, that can go down there, there we go, and there's that one, I'll put a bit more glue behind there, just to be sure. It 
So there's the second one. I might trim that off as well. That will annoy me. I don't mind that bit. Let's trim some of this. That's better. Okay, so there's two. And the third one, now this is this is what I did last time. I covered one of these. I used tissue paper. It wasn't um, wasn't a huge success, but I'm prepared to try it again. So what I thought was I could add my tissue, um, some doily, and because I'm only going to have part of that butterfly on, I'm thinking possibly I can add the other butterfly up the top here. Okay, first things first, we need to get this on. And um, because my glue stick is that horrible purple, I, will I use it? I actually got my um, matte medium, multi matte medium matte um, out. So perhaps I'll use this. I need a brush. There it is. And um, I'm just going to get a little bit of water, water it down a bit. Okay, back. Let's go. So I'll cover this. Now, I need a bit of scrap paper. Okay. going to go a bit bubbly. hope this works. I think I used glue last time, I'm not sure, can't remember. Okay, that should do it. All right, take that off there, just move it down a bit. And what I want to do is get that up at the top, reasonably straight, and then lay it down like that. And I'm just going to use my fingers gently tap that in. I don't mind a few creases. Um, and I might tuck this around to this side because if I come to grief it's trying to cut it off. Okay, put the lid on that before I make a mess with it. and wash that brush quickly too. Went way over the top with the glue there. That's fine. Flip her over. I might just hit that with my um, hot air gun thingy, <laughs> thingy, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. That dried quite quickly, actually. It's not too bad. A few bubbles, nothing too terrible. Um, it will dry a little bit more. So next, I want to add my paper doily. And I'm thinking I will just fold that round to the other side. Um, I also, I've already inked around the edges of this piece. And also my tag. 
Now the butterfly, I'm just going to wait until this is on and then think about what I'm going to do with the butterfly. I want the doily up quite high. So I'm thinking around about like that. And then this butterfly, if she goes on, will sit up in that corner. Okay, just turn that over. Says I know what I'm aiming for. There we go. And I'm going to use my art glitter glue because that mauve glue will go all over the place. some pink organza and we might put some of that down here we'll see let's get the flower on first um, I've made um, yeah I might leave that have a play I'll just pop this down for now I think about what else I want to add down there. I can always um, add to it when it's ready to go in. That's my label. Um, okay, now then this one. Let's go again with the matte medium. And we'll just add some around this area in general. Add that down. And then this time we'll go over the top. Maybe the other way, misses. not to glue that closed. And I think that's enough. That just needs to dry. Don't know. Back in a moment. Okay, so there we are. I've um, stitched around three sides on this one. So that completed that one and as you can see I've done, I decided to um, ruche some of the, um, did I say this is called? can't think. Anyway, I've ruched that and added that along the bottom. It is a bit, a bit frilly. Need to trim that off. Just move my scissors so I'll come back to that. But that's also been stitched around three sides. Um, yeah, made that one look a bit plain really. It's funny, isn't it? But I still, I like that one. I, that's a bit more me perhaps. A bit more clean and simple. <laughs> um, so yeah, a bit of a rushed video today. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully I'll be a bit more organised for the next one. Uh, I've got Marguerite Miller's challenge to complete for this week. So um, that might be my next video. I'm not sure. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. 